Abortion is clearly wrong. I don't think anybody debates that. You wouldn't recommend that someone that you love have one. Okay, now, having clarified that, that mere statement doesn't eliminate the complexity of the situation. There is good evidence that women's general level of unhappiness has increased since the early 1960s. What has been the consequence of that? Well, the first consequence was wild sexual experimentation. And why not? What would you expect? It's like all of a sudden reproduction is under control. Uh, does that mean that women can be as promiscuous as men? Well, maybe that's what it means. We don't know. So that was part of the big 60s experiment. And it isn't obviously obvious that that went particularly well. Um, it certainly led to the pornographication of our society, which I think is, been, I really think is actually quite dreadful. Um, maybe that's my innate prudishness, but I don't know. It seems to me that pornography demeans the participants as well as the viewers. There's something second rate and furtive about it. And I think that everybody who engages in it knows that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's a substitute for the real adventure of life. And I do think that it leads to a certain kind of, uh, perhaps, contempt. It leads to contempt, I would say. Um, and, and that can't be a good thing. I mean, I don't ever think, and you guys can ask yourself this question, I mean, have you ever met anybody who can, finished masturbating and then was proud about it and who stood up straighter because of it and who felt that they'd really conquered life as a consequence? I mean. I just don't believe that that's the, that that's the, the general post-masturbation feeling. I don't believe that. I believe that it's, 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 it's like a, it's, it's something you do when you, when you don't have the right thing to do. And, and it's an admission that you're a second-rate player, essentially.